Okay. So, we have another example on maxima and minima. So, in our example, one side of a rectangle, rectangular field is adjacent to a river. For the other three sides, 480 meters of fence are available. What are the dimensions of the field if the area is maximum? So, area here is maximum. So, you are going to take note what is being maximized. So, to be maximized here, that is the area. Area is maximum here. So, therefore, you are going to find the derivative of the area. So, area of the rectangular field. So, that is to be find the derivative. So, let's continue. So, as you can see here, it is adjacent to a river. So, therefore, only three sides are to be fence. And the available fence is 480 meters. So, let's try to show the figure. So, the figure, the figure here, we have here, the adjacent side is a river. So, what needs the fencing is only the three sides. So, if we will take this one as y, so y, so this is x. So, the perimeter for this figure, so this is only the perimeter here is this one, this one, and this one. So, that is the perimeter. So, if that is the perimeter, the formula that we are going to consider, first, that is the area, because maximum area. So, we are going to find the derivative of the area. So, what is the formula of the area in the given problem? Formula of the area, that is x times y. So, another formula that we are going to derive, that is the perimeter of this one. So, the perimeter, that is x plus 2y. So, x because you have only one x because the other one that is along the river. So, you are going to consider only one side. So, that is x and the other two sides, that is 2y. So, 1x and you have 2y. So, the perimeter is equal to x plus 2y. So, what is a perimeter? Perimeter, that is the measurement. Okay, measurement along the sides. So, the amount of fencing material that is equivalent to 480. So, that is the amount of fencing material that we are going to utilize for this 2y and 1x. So, therefore, you will have 480 is equal to x plus 2 why? So, if you are going to look at here, we are going to find the derivative of area. So, we are going to find the derivative of area. What we have is two variables, x and y. So, from the formula of perimeter, we are going to express this one in terms of x. Okay? Uh, we are going to express x in terms of y because it's much simpler if we are going to express x in terms of y so that we can have only one variable okay let's continue so solution here area of the rectangular field that is area is equal to x times y the perimeter of the rectangular field, that is P is equal to X plus 2Y, wherein perimeter, the amount of fence that is available, that is 480, equal to X plus 2Y. So, X, therefore, is equal to 480 minus 2Y. 
substitute the value of x substitute the value of x in terms of y so therefore you will have area is equal to x times y substitute the value of x in terms of y so therefore x is equal to 480 minus 2y substitute that here so that's the reason area is equal to 480 minus 2y times y so that we have only one variable so after this one we are going to find the derivative of the area because that is the maximum so derivative of the area with respect to y so we have equal to 480 minus 2y times y then multiply y inside so we will have 480y minus 2y squared derivative of 480y minus 2y squared derivative of 480y that is equivalent to 480 derivative of 2y squared that is 4y set the first derivative of the area with respect to y equal to zero for that case if you are going to set derivative of the area in over y equal to zero so therefore we will have 480 is equal to 4y so y is equal to 120 meters solving for x we have x is equal to 480 minus 2y substitute the value of y 120 so we will have x is equal to 240 meters so therefore our answer the measurement of x that is equal to 240 meters and the measurement of y that is 100 20 meters so we can check the perimeter if that is correct because the given perimeter is 480 meters so we have so the figure in our given that is this one okay so let's try to check if that is correct so this is now the river okay so we will have x we have y so therefore if this is 240 so x is equal to 240 so x is equal to 240 Y is 120, 120 plus 120 is equal to 240. Plus 240, that is equal to 480. So our answer is correct. So you will have 240, okay, 120 plus 120, that is equal to 480 meters. So the measurement, therefore, that is 240 meters and 120 meters. Okay, thank you.